Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 4. Today is episode number 52. If you guys are enjoying the content, then be sure to leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and feel free to hit that join button as it really does help support the channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy. This episode was streamed live on YouTube. If you want to make sure to catch the streams, then be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Enaba in the description down below. All right, we're now here for the V8 Supercars Tour, which I believe is... Yeah, so it'll be this car. We're taking the number 11 Commodore. Uh, and we're starting off with Circuit de Catalonia, Silverstone, Miguelo, Le Mans, and then Hockenheim Ring. Let's get going. All right, here we go. This is it. The first of the actual professional race car events. And we're looking at, like, episode 50 and beyond, which, for the last game, I think it was only, like, episode 20-something before we started getting into race cars. So, we're actually quite a bit later on into this game before getting into the race cars. What the hell are you doing? That is not fair. That is not polite. Could you please go do one? Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, this thing's quick. Buddy, how? I'm actually really liking how this car drives. I can't remember if we actually got to use any of the Australian supercars in... in the last game. Alright, so with the power of editing, I am back. Um, for anyone wondering why there was a bit of cut and why I had to rewind. Uh, controller decided to do a mad disconnect. And it would not reconnect. I was doing donuts for days, so... Uh, I am officially reconnected now. Even though it doesn't look like it.
Damn. This music actually really fits well with uh, the game. Too close to the inside there. Bidding. A little bit of understeer there. Skirt, skirt. Not bad. That was a good first race. I actually really like how that car drives. I'm quite I'm quite impressed, to say the least. I forgot to press start recording, okay? Leave me alone. Rem 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 rem. Beep, beep, bitch, coming through. Lord Falcon.
it's crazy how much speed this thing can get. But it's also crazy how much it just hits VMAX and that's it. So, I mean, to be fair, they are probably designed to hit top speed after that distance. So everything else doesn't really matter too much. Sixty-five down that back straight there. Formula One will be struggling to get 180. It's crazy to think about. These things have got some power to them. And they sound very similar to NASCARs as well. I don't know if I've ever made that association with it, but yeah, they sound a little bit like NASCARs. This thing's so smooth to drive. It's it's smooth, but it feels like it's always on the edge.
Dun, 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 dun. Yo, VT, what up? Welcome. How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day, man. Welcome back to the stream. Hey. Look at VT with his unicorn. It's so sick. I love the unicorn. It's one of my favorites. I think out of all the cars that Ken Block made, the Hoonicorn is Chef's Kiss. Quite frankly, the best car in the world. Hanging in there. Well, that's all right for me. <laughs> as long as you're getting by and it's all right, that's good in my eyes. Pretty much life is just hanging on, hanging in there, hoping for the best. Some days you get lucky, some days you don't. Loud Holden V8, love it. Honestly, this V8, is, it reminds me of a NASCAR V8. It's like that really loud, roaring engine. It's lovely. Nice chunk of bonus XP there as well. But yeah, VT, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a good day. Ah, we're off. Oh yeah, so um, we've got new stream avatars coming very soon. Uh, I believe on Sunday is when season two of stream avatars starts. Or season two of mechs stream avatars. Stream avatars don't actually have a season. But we'll be having some new rewards, uh, some new perks. This is lovely to drive. Oh no! I'm in the grass! Lovely jumbler. Look at how much the screen gets darker as you're going down that fast stretch.
so looking forward to being able to get like an upgraded Bugatti Veyron and just absolutely rip it down the straight at like 300 miles an hour. Something stupid like that. Oh, a little bit of understeer. Back on track. I believe that version of the car has the LS3 V8. I'm not 100% sure, so I'll take your word for it. All I know is it's got a V8 and it's loud. <laughs> and I think that's all my small monkey brain cares about. It's just like, ooh, V8, engine, roar. That is literally all my brain does, is just, wow. I literally have the brain of a caveman. <laughs> Ooh, engine make loud noise. <laughs> it sounded like Yoda a little bit. Seven hundred and fifty five horse. Jesus Christ. General Motors know how to make a V eight though, to be fair. They definitely have the expertise to make V eight. Bill, to have an engine pull that kind of power, quite impressive. Not bad. I'm not sure. I think it's the Commodore, if I remember correctly. It is a Holden. Holden Commodore, I think. Or HSV Commodore. I'm not 100% sure. Seven litre LS7 V8. The fact that seven and litre can go in the same sentence for an engine is wild. Way. 
bad. Good result there. Woohoo! Oh, and we got some credits as well. Yeah, so it is a Holden. Oh yeah, so uh, once it's over level 50, BT, uh, with the last Forza games, when you're at level 50, basically you've got a choice of any car, and then level 50, that was it. Now it goes above that, but you get, um, what's it called? Ah, you tit. What are you doing? Let me stay on the track, please. Yeah, so you just get credits after that point. Um, I believe Motorsport 6 was the first one that introduced reward wheels. Uh, or Horizon 2 technically was the first one. But out of the Motorsport series, I believe it was that way for... I'm not sure what happened with Motorsport 5 rewards wise. I think it's similar to this game, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I've hit the curb. Look at that speed. He's telling me straight on. It is straight on. Good. 207 miles an hour. Yeah, I'll have to grab the Xbox One. So the plan is we're using the Xbox 360 for Motorsport 1, 2, 3, and 4. Obviously, we're on the last game of the Xbox 360 generation of games. Once we're done with this, um, I think I'm going to be buying a Series X at some point. Uh, one of the older ones with the disk drive. Either that or the next Xbox that comes out. Um, but they haven't leaked anything in that leak, so I assume I'd just be buying a Series X. Probably going to get one for about 400 And I'll sell the Xbox that I've got at the moment. Get a little bit of money back. So it's a little bit cheaper. Um, and then probably play some... I don't know whatever there is. Or I could get the subscription model that they've got. They've got like a subscription for like £32 a month. You get an Xbox Series X and you get Game Pass for 24 months as well. Which I don't think is too bad actually because when you think... The console is X amount of money. Game Pass on top of that is, you know, you'd actually be saving a fair amount of money. Or I don't think you'd be saving it, but you wouldn't be paying much extra. And it's a little less of a hit on your wallet as well. So I think I'd be going down that route.
Damn, not bad. I might actually do that. I might get a Series X on that all access thing. It's a little bit more affordable. And then that way I have a Series X. Oh my gosh, what on earth happened there? Completely lost the rear end of the car. Yes, yeah, so the full plan will be... Obviously, Motorsport 1 to 4 is on Xbox 360. The Series X I'll play. Horizon 1, Motorsport 5, Horizon 2, Motorsport 6. And then Horizon 3, Motorsport 7, Horizon 4, 5 and Motorsport 8 are all going to be played on PC. That is the plan. Hopefully the plan goes through successfully. That's my B-Real done! Why? I'm kind of confused why Volvo is advertised on this, because Volvo is a brand. So I'm a, I'm a little bit surprised that they're a sponsor of a car, as opposed to making the car. Yes, because I think uh, the perfect place to park your car is in the middle of an apex of a corner. What are you doing? Yo, Heinz, what up? It's Mr. Ketchup. And I need to catch up with all these other cars. Whee! How are you doing, Hans? Hopefully you're having a good day, man. Oh, what's going on there? Ah, yep. These cars are clueless as to where they actually want to go on this track. Yeah, just drive into me, why don't you? Citroen GT, love that car. It is a good car. I'm surprised you actually noticed that from the, the picture. But yeah, that is the uh, the Citroen GT. That was exclusive for the uh, member -athon stream that we did. Overshift that was thought to be like 20 minutes before our end of shift. Oh. What, you were made to stay? Because I swear that's not legal. You 
you are here to the 4 p.m. Oh. Yeah, uh, I, I'll be a bit annoyed with that. Yeah, so, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, stream avatars. So uh, yeah, that GT by Citroen. That one's only available to the member of Fun Stream. Um, so any anybody that turned up to that stream, they got the car for free. Um, I think for the next member of I'll do a similar thing as well. So there'll be another exclusive car. Um, I actually want to do like a spreadsheet showing all the cars in every season. I might do that tomorrow. It's like a little thing to do when I'm sorting out all the stream avatars. Because uh, season two is starting on Sunday. So we're going to have another... I think the total amount of cars being added on Sunday is 10 cars. So we're going to have 10 more cars on the stream avatars from Sunday onwards. It's gonna be sick. It's gonna be awesome. I think I'm gonna add another font as well, because at the moment we've got two fonts. We've got the standard one, which obviously everyone has enabled. It's uh, also known as Freshman font. There is Comic Sans font, which I <laughs> introduced in season one. So I think for season two I'll add another font. Wow, mix it up a little bit. For the next season, you have to grind for cars that nobody wants and makes us money and bunch of recycling. Exactly. <laughs> it's a little bit irritating, I think. But I don't know. Don't mind me, I'm mildly pissed. <laughs> yeah, that's all good. The worst part is that I was there for free, like, how to Oh, so you weren't paid for your overtime? That's a little bit shit. Um, in fact, that's not a little bit shit, that's very shit. I think you should definitely, um... I don't know what you can do in that situation. Doing the crew motor fest at the moment is pretty fun. I'm really looking forward to getting it, but I'm gonna get it on a sale. Oh, did I not take it? There we go. Let's actually run the battle royale this time. So yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna say it now. So season two, season two's event, I'm gonna announce in the Discord. But uh, it's gonna involve Toyota Supras. So pretty much for the battle royale you get, you can get either the Mark IV, the Mark V, Mark III, Mark II. There's all the Supras available. Um, 
That would be for the Battle Royale event. And then there's going to be six more cars that are just like purchasable cars. Same as what we did last time. That people can just go, right, I'm going to... It's going to be pretty fun. Not bad. I will take that. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.